intra-East African community trade stood at $5.98 billion in 2018, and with the unprecedented impact of the COVID-19 pandemic on the economy, regional trade is expected to decline by 50% this year. Following the resumption of air travel in the region, the East African Business Council is calling for an East African community coordinated approach on the resumption of regional air services to spur intra-East Africa community trade and revive the tourism and hospitality sector that were heavily hit by the COVID-19 pandemic. Speaking to the Executive Director of the East African Business Council, Dr. Peter Mathuki, he begins by explaining what the region needs to do to ensure a smooth return to normalcy. Uh, first and foremost is to appreciate the fact that uh, COVID is something that was unexpected and not only in East Africa but across the across Africa and across the world. The plea is to, to to encourage all of us that we have an ESC coordinated approach in dealing with COVID and also in terms of recovery. Because once we coordinate as partner states, it becomes very easy to recover together in terms of business. Because if one country is okay and the other one is not okay, then it becomes a challenge because uh, we must do business with one another, we must work together, and therefore it's important that we have a coordinated approach when dealing with COVID and also as we prepare to definitely recover or rebound uh, back to business. So let us reduce now non-tariff barriers that are COVID related. Let us make things easy to do business. Because once we do, once we make things easy and provide a friendly environment, then that would mean that the intra ESE trade will increase and investments are going to increase. So this COVID could be an opportunity for our, our countries in East Africa, mm. depending on how we approach it. And I think in my own view, the best way is to ensure that we do it in a very coordinated manner so that we don't uh, you know, get into the traps and, 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 miss, and, miss, and miss the point. The latest uh, resumption has been air travel in some regional countries, including Rwanda, following months uh, of COVID-19 shutdown. What should authorities yeah. do to ensure the safety of everyone in the regional air transport services? I think the most important thing is for the airlines to agree and discuss uh, commonly the kind of guidelines they want to put so that we can have an environment that is very uniform within the region. Because basically, once we do that, one, it is going to create a lot of confidence among, of course, our customers within the region, East Africans who are using those services, and also guests who are using those services. So I think it's very important that, uh, that, uh, that we have, they, they, they adhere to that. But also, most importantly, there must be, um, you know, the region, the, the entire East Africa, is, uh, is, is, a, is, is a region that is respected for, of course, uh, so many things. And if they coordinate properly, it becomes very easy. And I'm telling you, that will give um, an opportunity to quickly revive sectors like tourism and hotels if there's a coordinated way. And I think very quickly the airlines themselves within the region need to meet and agree on a, on a coordinated approach as they receive. Uh, speaking of tourism, the East African community has been known as a hub of tourism, and we are likely to see, of course, more tourists flying in and in big numbers. What should the ESC uh, member states do to ensure a coordinated approach uh, on the resumption of tourism and hospitality without necessarily undermining the guidelines and national measures to control the spread of the coronavirus? Uh, as East African Business Council, we have actually recommended to partner states that they may need to set up um, a, a tourism relief fund, tourism relief fund that is meant to ensure that they cushion those sectors that were badly affected. Mm. And if that is done, of course, then again, very quickly, it's, we are going to see our tourism sector getting back. So expectations are very high from the partner states that they need to set up a, a fund that is going to support even those uh, small players in the tourism sector. What are some of the challenges, though, that that business across the region has experienced amid the pandemic, and what advocacy moves has the East African Business Council uh, been doing? Any wins so far? Yeah, we must appreciate first and foremost that COVID-19 is both an economic and health crisis, and that's the bottom line. And of course, uh, disruption of global 
uh, value chains, regional value chains. Because you remember most of our manufacturers and services, are, we were dependent on a lot of things that were coming from outside Africa. And therefore, there's never been much, uh, you know, continuous supplies happening, and that's been a challenge. But in terms of wind, we must appreciate that um, that uh, winds have been there, and there were some of them have, have said, yes, so far, movement of goods has been happening across the borders. That, that is, to me, is very important. Secondly, we, are, we seem to be saying we have been actually trying to advocate for open skies within the region. If we can adopt as partner states the open skies policy, and of course give uh, all the fifth and ninth freedom is allowed, then it becomes very easy. For example, we should be having Rwanda here, pick goods from Rwanda, uh, you know, pick more goods from Nairobi, pick from Entebbe, on Dar es and take to a destination in Europe. And on their return, they should bring goods from those countries to all the countries in East Africa. Mm -hmm. And so is other airlines, Kenya, Ways, Air Tanzania, and so forth. And they agree to have, like, for example, Rwanda Air focus on the Europe market, Kenya Airways focus on less Asian market, Air Tanzania focus on, you know, Southern African market. And that would become very easy to. To, to do it. So open skies I see as an opportunity that we can all of us exploit now at a time like this. And we cannot allow actually to keep it pending and further. And I think it is timely during this time that we need to allow open skies policy to be quite encouraged. Many thanks indeed, Dr. Peter Mathiuki, for your time today. Thank you very much and all the best and thank you for hosting us too. Thank you.